Yes, uh, Captain Jones, please. Steve. Hi. Has Joey, Joey arrived yet? Good. Could you find it in your heart to give him a copy of the uh, Pan American uh, Flight Manifest for San Francisco for the past week? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Put him on. Joey. Listen up. You're going to get a copy of the uh, Flight's Manifest from Steve. Look for the name Thomas Faulkner. Don't call me Chief. Excuse me. 
How long have you known James Von Holt? You mean the dead guy? Yeah. Off and on for three years. It works every time. <laughs> now, Donna, tell me, how did you meet Mr. Von Holt? At his engagement party. Back in 36. And did you know Mr. Falk? I what? went there with him. You went with you went with Mr. Falk. That's what I said. That's where I heard it. There's a pattern beginning to form here. So tell me, how long did you know Mr. Faulkner? Tommy? About two months. That's very good, Donna. I'm going to snap my fingers, and when I do, you're going to wake and refresh. And you'll not remember a single thing. That presupposes that she could actually remember something. Well, <clears throat> where were we? You were just leaving. I was? Yes, you were. I guess I was. I guess I'll be leaving now. Where's the door? The same way you came in. Oh, so it is. I'll be seeing you, Mr. Diamond. Now, by the way, I'd uh, just uh, stick around town. I may have some other questions for you down the road. <laughs> Whatever for. <laughs> <clears throat> Listen, I need you to come in as soon as possible, whenever the opportunity arises, all right? Yes, uh, it's too soon to tell, actually. Um, I gotta go. Uh, I can't talk right now. I'll talk to you soon. <clears throat> I was told you wanted to see me. Yes, yeah, so you must be uh, Cindy. Mm -hmm. Have a seat. You met my associate this afternoon, Joey. That was his name. <laughs> yes, it was. How many people have you slept with this afternoon? Four. No, five. <laughs> Six if you got four in you. Yeah, that's right, Six. Well, you can actually sleep with an edge, that's X. Well, never mind that. What, the, what about Mr. Van Holt? Well, after he and I slept together, he'd always have to wait at least an hour before he slept with anyone else. He's insatiable. He was insatiable. That's what I said. That's where I heard it. How long did you know Mr. Van Holt? I gave Joey all this information. Can we talk about something else? What did you have in mind? How fast can you break your clothes off and throw you on your desk? Uh, that, uh, that won't be necessary, uh, Cindy. You're going to take your own clothes off? It's never happened before. That could be fun. <clears throat> no, uh, what I meant was, uh, we're not going to be, uh, having sex. What? Are you gay? Do no, you I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy. Then why am I here? Well, it was because I needed to fill in some questions about uh, your relationship with Mr. Van Holt. Now, where were you? I gotta give it to her. She sure does have a one-track mind. Now, when was the last time you saw him? I'm done with the questions. Can I just kiss you? <laughs> now, where were we? <clears throat> I am ready to see me. Cindy, how am I supposed to conduct this investigation if you're kissing me all over? Well, Can we get on with it? Investigation. Can we do another covers? Mm, you got a little red lipstick on your nose there. By the way, how did you know that that was where my bedroom was? 
Let me guess. You've read my question. Yes, on the way over. How did you know? Well, Cindy, everybody reads my press kit. <laughs> now, can we get on with it? <clears throat> Not that. This. Where were you last night between 10 and 11? I was having sex. How did I know that? What I want to know is with whom and where. I wasn't with James, if that's what you mean. This can be verified, you know that. It can? Mm -hmm. But of course it can. Well, as soon as I've answered all of your questions, I must be going. I thought that uh, you wanted to have sex. Well, I changed my mind. Woman's prerogative, you know? <laughs> Uh, I'd said change of heart. I um, have to feed. Have to feed. Yeah. Well, I think you're trying to avoid these issues, Cindy. All right, I confess. You confess? You killed Mr. James Von Holt? No. Then what are you confessing to? That I'm trying to avoid the issue. Can I go now? If I tell you, can we do it on the desk right here, right now? I prefer the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I went back to the Von Holt mansion last night, and as I was about to arrive, James's wife walked through the front door. So I kept going. Where did you go? Well, I mean, I went to the next county. It was sometime after 9, before 10. What were you doing in the next county? Making love. How did I know that? Well, you're the detective. Now, yes, I am, Cindy. Mm -hmm. That we all. Thank you. But I thought we were going to have hot and brittle passion sex. First of all, it's not unbrittled. It's unbridled. <laughs> Secondly, I'd like to think that I can set my sights a little higher. <laughs> Off you go. <clears throat> Mr. Diamond. Oh, I come as soon as I could. I can come back later if... Um, oh, she was just leaving. <laughs> you don't know what you're missing. <laughs> so you say. What was the new button? She was just uh, modeling some sexy lingerie. I see. Then why did you ask me, please? I just have a few questions for you. Oh, uh, what? About the murder, of course. You know I didn't do it. Do I? I wouldn't have hired you if I did. The fact that you don't have an alibi really troubles me. Why should I need one? I read your prescript. You'll find the killer long before the case ever goes to trial. And that's why I'm behind you. That's true. Everybody has read my prescript, haven't they? Where were you last night between 10 and 11? I came here to invite you to a party, not to be accused of murder. You know damn well that during an investigation I rarely ever leave my office. I thought. <laughs>
I'll uh, join you this this evening. Yes. Okay. I'll pick you up at eight. I'll be ready at at eight. Yes. <laughs> it's black tie. I have a tux delivered. If you're gonna be busy. Well, that won't be necessary. Uh, okay. I do have a little work to do here in the, the office still. <clears throat> How did you know Cindy? What makes her think I know the Ninfa? I never mentioned her name. Can you keep a secret, Mr. Diamond? Sure. So can I. You know, Laura, I'm going to solve this case one way or another, with or without your help. Oh, I have to make preparation for this evening. Don't be late. <laughs> 